Have you ever wondered why our solar system hasn't fallen apart even after billions of years? After all, every planet in the solar system tugs on every other planet with its gravity. In fact, this is an example of an n-body problem, which we know can be chaotic and hence unstable. So why are there still eight planets in our solar system after all this time? The answer lies in the hidden geometry of extra-dimensional donuts in phase space. Let me explain. You've all learned about Newtonian mechanics in school. You know an object at rest stays at rest, external forces cause motion, the whole thing. And while Newton's physics is wildly powerful, the mathematical description leaves something to be desired. Enter Hamiltonian mechanics. While everything you can do with Hamiltonian mechanics can be done with Newton, Hamilton's version reveals an additional structure of mechanics, something that is now called symplectic geometry. Put simply, symplectic geometry, which is the geometry of phase space, describes in a nice geometric package the possible positions and momentums that some physical system can take on. Now we can describe the behavior of a system in phase space by plotting out a trajectory that the system passes along as time moves forward. For example, a simple pendulum tracks out an ellipse. When it's far away from straight down, its speed is small, and when its speed is large, it's close to straight down. In fact, this ellipse is an example of an invariant torus, a sort of donut shape in phase space that confines the dynamics of the system. And pendula aren't the only systems that have invariant tori. We can describe mathematically exactly what is required for that system to be constrained to lie on such a torus in phase space. One example is any two-body gravitational system. If the energy of that system is negative, then it will lie on an invariant torus. This is a mathematical consequence of the Louisville-Arnold theorem. But our solar system isn't just two-body, it's lots. So any invariant torus, if they exist, are going to be high-dimensional, unlike the 2D torus for a two-body gravitational system. And here, the Kolmogorov-Arnold-Moser theorem comes to the rescue, saving the tori for our solar system. Because the sun is far and away the dominant force in our solar system, we can treat other gravitational influences as small deviations. And this theorem says that, if the deviations are small enough, which they are, then at least some invariant tori remain. And therefore, the system as a whole remains stable, even though its specific behavior is chaotic. Now, of course, there's a lot more to say about symplectic geometry and phase space, but I think that'll do it for now.